life is but a rich tapestry, Shakespeare. The other thing that's like a tapestry is Tapestry by Carole King. Zach from Apple Music. But Matt. So this is uh, one of the most famous records of mm -hmm. all time, but a glaring omission in our musical knowledge. And I don't know what we've been doing up until now, because I'll tell you what, Carole King's Tapestry deserves to be a famous record. I'd never listened to Carole King's Tapestry before, but then I put it on and I knew every track on the record, or about 50, 60% of them, but I didn't know any of them from their Carol King versions. Mm. And you'd think, well, Zach, is that because it's a cover album? No, Matt, it's not because it's a cover album. Au contraire. Everyone covered her. The thing about Carol King was that she was a songwriter. Mm -hmm. And not just that, but she was a singer. I guess they'd call it like a, like a, like a songwriter singer. Yeah. So she was just pumping out pop bangers in the 60s such as I you made me fear it. you made me fear it. like a nature woman, woman. You know. I love it when you sing. She also wrote um, He Hit Me and it felt like a kiss. She regrets writing it apparently. Really? Yeah, not happy with the lyrics. The kiss bit's nice. That's great. That's great. In fact, they should just like cut out the first bit. Yeah. Um, Love kissing. I've never until this phase in my life used the phrase proto-disco. I can attest to that, he has not. It's like, these could be disco bangers. There's the uh, exoskeleton, mm. the blueprint of disco You hear something like, I feel the urge, move under my feet. And it's like, Carol, why are you playing this on a piano? Mm -hmm. We gotta get a D floor popping. But that's what you love about this record. You know, it's 100% Carol. The whole way through, it's just a piano tinkering, a nice little splash of acoustic guitar, mm. and then King's perfect, unadulterated voice. It's a home run, beginning to end. It's just like, oh, I want to listen to a wonderful song. Oh, track one. You know, it would be great to follow that, another wonderful song. Oh, it's a good thing that track two's here. It's got a little bit of bum bum bam, bum bum bam, bum 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 ba da na to it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's got a lot of La -da -do, da -da -do -da -do mm. to it. She really straddles those two lines that you described. She's there. a straddle. She's a natural straddler. Mm -hmm. And she makes me feel like a natural straddler. You know what I'm saying? I think I do. Yeah, cool. I think I do, yeah. That's a pretty glowing um, appreciation. Of I love Tapestry by Carole King. Okay, yeah, I can 100% certify right now that I love Carole King's Tapestry. And you know what, you get into this 21st century and you've got all of this urban music and you think, what is this fucking trash? What is this bullshit, this Absol horse shit? You think no one makes it like they used to back in the day. And then you put on something like Carole King's Tapestry and you go, what is this revolutionary music? And someone goes, Oh, guess what, Zach? It's not actually the new R. Kelly record. This came out in 1971. It's Carole King's Tapestry. Mm. It blew my fucking mind when I heard that. I couldn't have known. I couldn't have fucking known. Ooh, I can feel it. My, my spidey uh, senses are tingling. I'm put feeling it this way. five Zacha. Well, as you know, I'm Jewish, Matt. And it was cool to find out that um, Carole King's Jewish because then if I married her, my parents would be happy with me oh, and yeah. they wouldn't be so disappointed in me. Yeah. And they wouldn't say, Zach, why don't you get a job and stop just doing music review shows? It's a five Zacker for me for Carol King's Tapestry. <laughs> for different reasons, it's a five Zacker for me. I think the quality of songwriting is second to none. Um, and I'd love to hear more from Carol, you know, if she's still going. <laughs> wow, another great episode of At The Music Record Club with Zach and Matt. Next week, you'll be on the edge of your seat, we're reviewing Joshua Tree by U2, starring uh, Bono and Edge. And it's shaping up to be our best episode yet. Did he have a solo career, Bono? Or? The Edge. Bono. Bono. Yeah, but I never had a solo career. You know, because. That's something we can discuss for next week's episode. Yeah. I'll save it for next week. Yeah. It's good material actually, mm. it's good. That can be the focus. Mm.